35 million. That's what the state of North Carolina allocated to the Department of Health and Human Services to test and trace coronavirus. Yeah, some of that money going directly to newly formed collaborations. That has at least one lawmaker questioning how it's being spent. CBS 17's Holder Kowicki joins us live outside the Department of Health and Human Services where he's getting answers. Well, Angelo Marius, the Carolina Community Testing Initiative was recently formed with the goal of assisting Governor Cooper's slow phase reopening of the state's economy. But just 10 days later, one lawmaker is asking for an investigation after I started asking questions. It's a job that's historically been handled by local health departments, according to Madison County Health Director James Madsen. We've been doing it for tuberculosis, HIV. So, you know, we're pretty familiar with identifying and then doing contact tracing. April 27th, Dr. Mandy Cohen announced that the Department of Health and Human Services was partnering with two companies to hire 250 new agents for the newly formed Carolina Community Tracing Initiative. The new collaborative will hire and train local staff that will support local health departments' contact tracing efforts. In a release, DHHS praised the longstanding relationships between Community Care of North Carolina and North Carolina Area Health Education centers. What it fails to mention is that state health director Elizabeth Tilson previously worked for community care and area health education centers list her husband as their director. I think they need to explain how they reached uh, the conclusion that these were the folks they were going to enter the contract with. I took Senator Danny Britt's question directly to Dr. Cohen. We had an evaluation committee uh, that was formed that was under the person who runs procurement for the Department of Health and Human Services, Iris Cooper. That evaluation committee um, evaluated the, the uh, candidates on, you know, the, on the criteria, selected that. Even if they went about it the right way, if that's where uh, they landed, I think it's still problematic because it looks bad. Would DHHS support an investigation into how those contracts were awarded? Yes, I welcome the transparency on this effort. Dr. Cohen did tell me that Dr. Tilson was not a part of the selection process and that she had completely recused herself. But Senator Britt tells me he has already reached out to the Ethics Committee and is asking for an investigation. We have a number of questions that we are still digging into. We'll hope to bring those to you in the coming days. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.